United and here with the Polish representatives Cleo and Donatan. Hello, how are you guys? Good. Good. Thank you. Good. <laughs> Stuck here. All right, I'm gonna make this quick. I know you've been probably very hungry a long day So I just have a few questions from our readers and they are dying to find out more about you The first question is a straightforward one. This was your second rehearsal and do you feel like um, there have been any changes? Do you feel more comfortable and confident about what you're doing? Uh, we are so aware now of and conscious of staying on the stage. Oh. Very certain. Very, yeah, okay. Well, that's, that's important. Now, one of our readers, her name is Stella, and she's from Germany, and she's asking if you could have any number of people on stage during your performance, how many beautiful Slavic girls would you like to bring? <laughs> Pięknych słowiańskich dziewczyn na scenę, gdyby Myś, reguły wam na myślę, to pozwalały. Myślę, że ta scena by nie wytrzymała nie ilości tych there, dziewczyn. There is no stage in the world, there is no stage in the world that could really carry it. I mean, we could bring all women from Poland. But... All right. Well, Stella, since she's a girl, she's asking, what about the Slavic guys? Are there any, like, shake, because I know the Slavic girls, they know how to, you know, shake what mama gave them. What about the guys? Are there any, like, any advice? <laughs> Donatan says, <laughs> like me, you know? <laughs> We love them. They are wonderful, but it is our time to show us ourselves. <laughs> now, all right, and um, William from Ireland is asking, um, there's a big hype around you and your song because you had a lot of YouTube hits prior to taking part. And um, what made you take part in Eurovision? What made you... Yeah, why did you decide to take part in Eurovision? In this year, there was no pre-elimination. There was no selection process in Poland as uh, the open selection. Powiedzieli, że mamy jechać my, ponieważ ludzie są, żebyśmy jechali i oto jesteśmy. And TV, TVP, the public broadcaster, decided, I mean, asked them to represent uh, Poland in the Eurovision Second Test because people want it. Well, that's a good reason then, right? <laughs> Okay, now um, I'm from America, so you know we don't know a whole lot about stuff that's going on outside of our borders. Tell us a little bit about Poland. If I were to, sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Um, if I were to go to Poland just for one day, where would you send me? What should I do? Jeżeli przyjedziesz tylko na jeden dzień, to zapewniam się obudzisz się i będziesz już tam dziesięć dni. If you just come for one day, then after wake up. You will stay for 10 days ten longer. Days. <laughs> oh, okay, well, all right. Minimum. Minimum. <laughs> now, after this is all over, Eurovision is a lot of fun, you know, all good things come to an end. What's what's happening after Eurovision? You have any big plans, a tour, an album? What's happening? We gramy bardzo dużo koncertów. W miesiącu gramy około 20-30 koncertów, a nasz plan koncertowy jest do początku 2015 roku już zamknięty. So we play a lot of concerts every month. It's around 20 concerts uh, per, per month. And uh, if you look at the bookings already, they are full until the beginning of next year, 2015. Oh, really? I guess no vacation for you guys, huh? Anytime soon, no? Well, we ha you have a lot of fans on, on our website and they all wish you the best of luck. Keep their fingers crossed. So keep doing what you're doing. Thank you so much for talking to us.